called her a witch and abandoned her in a tent to die because she had 14 children and lost 13 except for one who let her run away thinking she is a witch and didn't want her to kill her. This woman has the most saddest story in the world. You would think she is cheerful until you hear her story. So someone reached out to me on Instagram and told me that there is a woman who needs my help. She sent me the message on Friday morning. And I told her to send me a video of the woman and she did send me the video of a woman. Immediately, I and my team left on Friday. I didn't even have to sit and think about it. They showed me where the woman was staying and, and the address. So I and my team drove all the way from Lagos Island to the mainland at Alausa. And mind you, it was raining heavily. So this lady I'm working with right here was the lady that drew my attention to this woman's condition. And then when we came... We spoke to certain people in the community and they were telling us that we should not help the woman, that she's a witch, that she had 14 children and she swallowed the remaining one. And the other one that was remaining had stroke and she has no contact with her. So it was actually somebody that even helped and gave her this tambourine to stay before she was staying outside helplessly with no one to look after her. So I went in, I talked to the woman. I was asking her how long she's been here. She said she's been here for so many years inside this place. And if you look at the environment, and there's a gutter, a very dirty gutter here where her tent is. And then there are people that are cooking restaurants there, right where her tent is. So when they cook the restaurant, she claimed, she said, the smokes from the restaurant usually come and it has affected her eyes. And she couldn't see clearly, even though she's trying to see clearly. She said the condition has been like this and nobody has come to her aid and rescue. Only this thing I'm be all your things. Okay, mama. No worry, we'll come out you for here, yeah? You're not going to stay here again. We told her to come out from inside the tent where she has lived for so many years and get ready to go with us. Prior to this, there was no formal arrangement. In fact, there was no time for me to plan and make arrangements. While coming, I was like, if this woman has to sleep in a hotel tonight, I'll make sure she sleep in a hotel. But she's definitely not sleeping there tonight after I find out where she stays. So when I told her she was so happy... One thing I needed to add to this is that this woman is a very cheerful and happy person. I don't believe she's a witch. I don't even believe in witches. I don't believe in, in that the woman will kill all 13 children remaining one. I just believe maybe something unfortunate happened or probably the children were sick and anybody can be in such a situation. But I don't know why the Nigerian community tend to see old people as witches and treat them as one. Even people in the society. I mean, people in the neighborhood because people approached us and approached us and were asking us why are we helping her that she doesn't deserve the help. Except for these two ladies you see in the video one has been taking care of her. She has her bed once in six months. The girls go there to feed her, feed her and the other girl who has been assisting in providing for her, which is the lady that contacted me. So under the rainy weather, we went ahead and took mama out of that tent. And then next we took her to uh, where we parked not far from the streets. Thank God I had this bus that always carry me around whenever I'm out to help people in the street or whenever I'm out to do charity. I always chatter him so he will he will wait until I finish up. If I have to take her to the hospital, if I have to take her anywhere, then we'll go back to the island together. Hopefully soon we'll get our own personal bus to use for logistics and all of that. But yes, that is just one of the things. So yes, we got to the car and before she got to the car, she was so excited. In fact, she wanted to dance. I'm like, Mama, it's not yet time to dance. So I've not even started anything with you. When I started with, when I started with you and finish with you you have every reason to dance because i as a person you guys know i don't start cases i can't finish i am very transparent from the beginning to the end and i carry you guys along to let you guys know in details how it is been um how it is going once she entered the car with us our first destination was to look for house someone told us that there was a house available a single room that has a toilet for her close to the neighborhood not far from the neighborhood so that the girls can constantly visit and also look after her so they showed me the place this is the toilet and this is the room and then they said they needed to communicate to the landlord and get back to us so i was very happy with the place because it's closer to where she is and then she has people that actually will look out for her here and then it looks like a place where we can actually start up a small business for her where she can cope and the rent was very affordable so we went there to see the place and then left our number with the landlord to contact us back i was very willing to pay for the accommodation and have her move into asa but unfortunately the landlord in question was not even available I decided to take her to shop right in Ekeja to go eat. At least let her go outside and see the world she hasn't seen in a very long time because she has been in that um, tent for a very long time and hasn't gone out of there. So yes, we got to shop right and then she was asking a lot of questions. What are we doing here? How did we get here? 
I hope you're not going to spend too much money here. Please don't spend money. Don't waste money on me. Just save the money and use it to do something good. I said, Mama, relax. You are out with Lady Jasmine. And today, Lady Jasmine is going to give you all the pampering in the world and make sure you're okay. You would never remain the same person you are after meeting Lady Jasmine. No, that's not how we do it over here on my platform, okay? We transform life for the better, for good. Her in ShopRite AKJ, her mama was eating her choice of food and then we allow her eat. While she was eating, we are gisting with her and she was giving us a little background story about herself and how this... Um, what these girls have been in her life and then how she has nobody else. So I asked her if, if I got a place for her, if she wants to stay, she said yes, that she has suffered in that tent, heavy rain, mosquito, constant bullying from people. And I told her we haven't gotten a place yet, but after eating, I realized she was coughing a lot while she was eating. So I told her that we'll go and get some clothes for her to change up to at the um, shopping mall. There are a lot of um, boutique there at the mall. And she kept insisting that she wanted to go and take her old clothes from the tent. I told her not to worry about the old clothes from the tent. I will go shop for her food that she'll be eating and all of that. That since we don't have a place to keep her here, we'll take her to a hotel. And one of the girls, if not both of the girls, will stay with her at the hotel. And the girls uh, uh, um, also accepted that they could stay with her in the hotel. So this is us at the shopping mall trying to, at the boutique, sorry, trying to shop for her clothes. And things here were quite expensive. But anyways, so there's this um, good Samaritan that walked in inside. I believe he's a pastor, one past, one of the pastors for Streams of Joy. I'm sure he was surprised on why we were getting an old lady, an outfit from this expensive um, boutique. And then he asked what was going on. We explained to him and he gave us $100 to add up to whatever we're going to use to take care of her. And I was so happy. Mama has so much luck. She has a good spirit. The way she laughed, the way she carries herself, the way she joke. In fact, she cracked me up the entire time. The, thing I noticed about her is why you're trying to spend money to buy her something. She kept being worried about me. This was the first time I took anybody out to buy something for them and they kept being constantly telling me, oh, don't spend too much, save the money, don't spend too much. I was like, mama, relax, forget about what I'm spending. I just want you to be okay, feel free, okay? <laughs> that she has a good spirit and she's a sweet old lady but people misinterpreted um her because she lost her children and they thought she was the reason for the loss of her children nobody should be treated as like this way nobody should be accused of something as terrible as that so yes we managed to go and pay the bills for the shopping it wasn't so much because yes she doesn't have an apartment yet all this we're taking them to the hotel so because of the cough i took her to the pharmacy and asked them to give her cup syrups and um vitamins that she need all the basic vitamins that she need then if cough persists we will take her to the hospital for proper check then this is us about to go back it was raining heavily it was raining heavily the hair rain was massive so we got to a cheaper hotel close to the um house where she was staying the tent and close to the place we want to rent house for her the hotel cost fifteen thousand a night my intention was to pay for two nights but as of today she has stayed for four nights so i'm hoping to get an apartment for her i don't know if anybody knows where we can get an apartment in alausa close to the tent where she is or anywhere in the mainland if anybody knows where we can get an apartment for her we try to reach out to some agents but we haven't gotten an apartment yet so she's still in the still in the hotel as i speak right now i did till today being tuesday making it um four to five days and we are hoping to get an accommodation soon we also try to look at the home of the elderly where old people stay so we're not getting any positive response which is not supposed to be so government is supposed to to make good arrangement for people like this to stay in the home of the elderly where they'll be taken care of but all the ones we look at on internet no one was Mama, positive so i want to go back mm -hmm. you stay in this hotel you can sit down okay. you stay in this hotel I'll, I'll pay for two days okay. she will look for a house that you will stay she will really see a house where you stay then in that two days we'll use and arrange the house eh? mm -hmm. so once i arrange the house i'll come back and carry you and go to the new house anything you want to eat she give you okay continue this conversation at the end of the video so this is us going back um home it was so late in the night around 11 p.m we're headed from mainland to the island hey, hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god Paper. Paper. <laughs> <laughs> you are smart you are very smart okay you are smart you are smart 
Mama, how was your night? Nothing. Can you sleep this last night? I love you very much. You don't feel anything now. You sleep where where? Mm -hmm. Oh, your body soft on top of the bed, I mean. Yeah. Hey, hey. <laughs> mama, the mama. Mm -hmm. You enjoy yourself, Abby. Uh, Only you. Uh, Inside. No, no, no problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. So, mama wants to have bread and tea. This was the pictures they took her in the next morning. These are pictures of us when we first met her. And then, like I said, she's still at the hotel, chilling. Until we get her a perfect place to stay. Mama, hmm? how was your night? Nothing. Can you sleep this last night? I don't feel anything. You don't feel anything now? You sleep where? Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. All your body soft on top of the bed. Mama, the mama. You enjoy yourself, Abby. Uh, Only you. Uh, uh, Inside? No, no, no problem. No problem. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> All right, sir. So, Mama wants to have bread and tea. That's it.